So ex looks like this 3 y by 2 divided by y by 4 y minus 4 plus 1 by y. Okay, that's it. Now cancel what it does basically you have seen that simplifications and also if I write cancel of this ex this performs something as 3y square minus 2y minus 8 divided by this 2y square minus 8y right now this is not only this is the cancellation or simplifications you can say right but with the simplifications even if you want the factorization of this term what we use the term as factor the factor of ex would be giving you something different with this factorization method right so y minus 2 by then 3 by plus 4 and then 2 y and all these things okay that's it so let's go to the trigonometric function so trigonometric simplifications can be done using the trig simplifications right simplifying trigonometric identities so remember all those things okay so like if i say uh, the expression 1 okay right exp1 and if I make it as like uh, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta, then e x p one something looks like this, right? So what is the value of this? This is the expression. Now we want to find the value you can use two different functions what I said in the last class also you can use the uh, simplification functions and you can use the tricks and functions both will be working in there okay so uh, let's use the simplify or uh, let's use the tricks and here so trick simplification of this exp1 would be giving you the value that is equals to 1 okay now sometimes in your uh, books you won't be having for questions like p p plus 1 p minus 1 showing up like proofs and all for the trigonometric things right so sometimes you find up those questions how it looks like right here like you have to prove something as p square minus 1 divided by p square plus 1 sometimes questions if y is equals to some this is equals to something then you have to prove something like this right sometimes it comes sec theta plus tan theta is equal to this and this and this and all you have to prove it so all those proofs are also very easy how to define those things so be going with that right so combinatrix also i think we have seen right in the last class now log we were about to go with the logs right so in logs guys what you have to do is you have to make the digits or the symbols what you are using as positive like if I, if I you say that you are using logs right so if you say log of a or ln of a that is log of a so ln of a <coughs> sorry plus ln of b so this is log a plus log b right or log x multiplied by log y whatever the things right so they have a particular formulas for those things right so what you have to do is if you are writing x and y over there for the logs or a and b if you are using for the logs so you need to say x and y as the symbols okay and that is like x and y you will write positive symbols yeah you don't want to speak something any doubts to anyone someone is speaking okay so positive is equals to true right now if you say log if I say log x multiplied by log y, that is log x, right? If I say log a multiplied by b, right? Giving you x, y, y because a, b has been given as x and y. If I say a and b, that will be different. Right, log a. Now we can use expand log or log combine, right? Uh, hello sir yeah uh, can we use this uh, normally a, a b why we use a b is equal to symbol something See, like that there you have to use because they cannot be expanded when the logs you have to write the positive numbers and uh, because these are just the symbols right so you have to make positive symbols or positive if you know like in the logs we use real parts and positive so you have to make it like 
you have to define that these are positive otherwise it will be having problems like expandations could not be done otherwise every function should work there is no such difficulty for that but if you write positive equals to true then you will not have any uh, problems in further orders okay that's it okay sir yes uh, sir can you please uh, show the first line so uh, the very first line uh, which first line so where are the uh, important uh, important see these these are very same when we can the previous class what i have done import simply from simply import the asterisk and from simply dot abc import uh, let me copy this and paste in this chat box and this is here done so it's coming it's done here okay you can see from there i pasted it all right so Thanks. see what do you someone asked the problem why we have used the positive expand log is working over there right sometimes it does not work in this sections like if i say now log of x plus y x multiplied by y so it gives just the x y right but with the ab i have done it positive these are the positive symbols so they have given you the answer that log of a plus a multiplied b is log a plus log b right or if you have any logarithmic values you can then uh, combine those things right so log a minus log b if i say this log a minus log b if this is the thing log a minus log b okay and this is the expression 2 if i just say log combine so this is a value of log ab right like this things are being done okay now uh, let's say i take a question uh, an easy question if i take it there just a minute hmm. let's say if my x is equals to p and y equals to 1 by p this one will be see the questions okay this is equals to what we have to prove there exactly no Okay, fine. All right. Mm -hmm. Here we have taken right. So this is the formula, right? No, oh, sorry. A multiplied by your log B. Equal equals to log b of the power of a. That is false. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Symbols are not being working. All right. Okay. Uh, let's come to the questions right now, and we'll be moving on. Before that, questions. Let me uh, do the sim normal simplifications. Like if I say that something to the power of x, right? Like x to the power of two, when multiplied by x to the power of three, what it comes? X to the power of five. right very simple power get added but what in the case when we say x to the power of 3 sorry uh, y multiplied by x to the power of z if it is this right x to the power of y and z now in the case of numerical it gets added right 3 plus 2 5 we got it there very basic of the exponential and radicals okay now in the case of variables or symbols when you are having it there so with the y and z what we have to do exactly what we need to write over there okay so for that we have a function called as power simplifications okay so that is power simplification of this expression if i write this copy and paste it here so you get x and then in the power of y plus it i hope that is clear right so for every other thing you have a different formulas Right, or you can say the functions, and that is important. Remembering the functions are important. Okay, all right. So uh, in the last class, I have uh, told you that some of the integrations and differentiation parts can be done with this thing, right? So we'll be doing on it further onwards. Okay. So let's start the differentiation integrations and understanding the limits and all. Okay, and then we'll be moving on some to some of the questions. 
like we say that under square under root of tan square theta the value if we want to know right like uh, one by like if you have something like sqrt or if you say yeah find that sqrt of tan square theta right you'll be having a lot of questions like it can be easily solved here we should underscore of something minus one whatever okay okay so uh, let's go with the derivatives and we'll be solving some questions over here so here you have two important factors one is when you are writing a formula then you will be using derivative writing derivative like derivative of x so derivative of x dx by dx right derivative of y then dy by dy with comparison to x with respect to x you will be having given with respect to x right dy by dx right now you can mention it as the equation goes on like whatever the things okay now after this now if you are going to differentiate for differentiating you will be using differentiate right diff diff y with respect to x right? that is zero constant right that is different thing differentiating is something that where you getting the results and so you can make an equation where you can frame that this when applied give a comma this is your left hand side okay so this when applied give you the result of this in the right hand side so this would be the formula so hello sir yeah so here uh, simplification code is not applicable hmm. just a minute, just a minute once uh, simplification code uh, write the uh, previous code is simplify the we get the answer by using the simplify the code we are right the simplify uh, this so we get the answer or result uh, but here you, just a minute what you are saying with simplifications uh, the other uh, the previous code the previous when we uh, simplify any uh, equation here in the first one you are saying ha ah, yeah yes 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 here in the power simplifications yeah there we use the simplification command and we get the result hmm. from the equation or everything but in derivative or in uh, differentiation that we cannot use this command no like why you would be using simplification here this is like derivative of y with respect to x so you would be writing it like derivative of y with x right and then if you want to differentiate it if you want to show just the question you can write it like this now if you are uh, representing it or differentiating it you have to use the def one okay now in machine learning uh, c or like in cnn ann whatever the things are there right you would be having formulas okay uh, just a minute Okay. Yeah. So your doubt is clear. If you don't have to read it. Yes, sir. Okay. So like if there is a mean of something grouped data or arithmetic mean formulas, like mostly in this uh, algorithms, you'll be finding RMS group mean square errors, right? MSEs and a lot of things in the regressions. Okay. So you'd be using summations over there, like how the summations are being written now. That is the different part, right? Summations also will be going in there. How we are writing the summation of x and all. Okay, so that is different part. Let me show you how we'll be writing. Like, um, let's say, if I'm writing.
index space is not very much important for you right now. Are there any problems? After you might have it. Some option. Alright. So if I say summations of something, so I'll be using sum. Okay, and now let's say if I'm writing it like this. And then putting over a comma. And then you write up the things like very easy, uh, like I say, summation of mk equals to 1 till k, right? Things like that. Okay. Now, if you write a very simple thing, then if you want to write in some brackets of look things, right? So you, you can give here less than equals to 1 and all those things, right? So things can be done easily. So these are the questions what you will be printing on there, right? So this kind of equations you'll be printing. For like, uh, let's say, if we go with the arithmetic mean, right? So what is arithmetic mean there? You have x bar, right? That is your mean, you call us. And then frequencies and mid intervals and all the things, mathematics things, okay? So that will be done, right? Like the absolute values and on, you'll be using absolutes of x. This would be giving you absolute value of x. And this is equals to something and like that, you can make it, okay? So that is different part we'll be going on later onwards. All right. Now let's stick to our points. We were at the derivatives and differentiations. Okay. Now let's take an easy question over there and let's start it with the things. Okay. So writing uh, the way of writing should be very much clear, right? So if an expression is equals to something like x cube, so you have to understand where to write the powers and the things, which function to use at what time. So if this is expression 3, this is x cube plus 2x, okay, and this is uh, sorry, completely, what is it there, multiplied, this is multiplied by a square root of x. So question is something like, oh, so root x, then x cube plus 2x. This is the question, right? So if we need to differentiate this now, if we if we want to write the question, so exact question is this, right? So that is your question would be, or you can give your it would be like The derivative of this, right, should be the differentiation of this. So very easy to understand. It's easy, right? Like once you understand, you can frame this. Okay, clear. Any doubts? Hello, hello, sir. One more repeat. Yeah, meeting are always recorded, Okay, so hello, sir. Yeah. Um, hello. Can can you repeat first question? First question. Yeah. Uh, okay. So question was that you need to differentiate this equation that is x cube and plus 2x multiplied by square root of x. What you can see in the left hand side, see this is equals, this completely thinks is equals to this right hand side. So that is the differentiation what is equals to this. Okay. Derivative of this is equals to this. Very clear. Yes, sir. No doubts to anyone, I hope. Anyone having problems? Okay. Wait. Hmm. Now, so let's say uh, the second question, if I take it there. Fine. So you keep on framing like this, right? So once you see it, you try to write the questions. Let's say if I, I will also copy paste it there. So you guys can also run at the same time and you can see if it is coming or not. Okay. All right. Uh, where it is? Second question. So let's say now exp4 would be negative of let's say x plus 1 divided by 
4 multiplied x plus 7. Sorry, x to 4. It is minus x minus 1. No, sorry. Minus, minus x minus 1, okay. And somewhere it is 4 also. 4, four multiplied by x plus 1. Okay, this is your uh, equation. Dx, right? I need to differentiate this. So let me make it upward. Make it upward. Wait, if we differentiate this, we would be again writing the same thing and just a bit of change will be there that is dx b4. So dy dx of this minus x or you can make a bracket again. If it works over there, leave it. That is fine. So d by dx of this is equals to minus 4 minus x minus 1 by 4x plus b solve. Okay. I hope this is clear to you. Right? And sometimes you can also find the like exponentiation's value. No, like if I say It is like dxp5 uh, to the power of x minus 3. Exp stands for your exponentiations, like e to the power of something, okay, like the, for that. Two to the power of x minus four to the power of x and minus three e to the power of x. And this is your question. You need to paste it there and then you need to solve it. Now these are the part of the differentiations, right? So I hope till this everyone is clear. Right? Things are clear to you. I I hope this is clear. So no need to go with the differentiations anymore. Right? Now sometimes you get the questions like in the test of simply tomorrow you're having this test right so in the test to what happens you get the questions like uh, you'd be getting word problems basically as I said right so you'd be having like uh, find the real roots of the solutions of the equations okay so you need to find the roots of the equation that that case mm -hmm. just a moment PHP, yeah. okay fine so let's say if questions comes like this let's find the roots sorry, of the equation so like if say the equation has been given e p6 exp6 okay and like the equation is Big equation, just a minute. The hmm. so equation says that this is equals to zero, that is a square x square minus 3abx plus 2b square is equals to 0. This is your equation. Right? So you need to find the real roots of this equation. Right? So whenever you guys you get the things for finding roots or finding solutions for these cases, right? Just a minute. Hello? If there is an option, you can share it from there to the mail IDs. Okay. Uh, okay. Just a minute, just a minute. I'm in class. Wait for one second. Let me see. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, from there you can share it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So ax square x square minus 3 abx plus 2b square equals to 0. Right now, if you want to find the roots of this, what I say we have a function for this solve. Oh sorry, solve. Solving the equation. Okay. So this is your equation and you need to solve this. Right. So there you just cannot write exp6 to solve right now because that is the expression for now okay so you need to define this like this is an uh, equation one so we can say it as equation one okay and we can solve the equation one here because we need not to solve the Expressions for expressions, you have functions for simplifications, tricks, important uh, uh, tricks, simplifications, and all. Okay, so for that, we have different functions. All right, so you need to solve the equations, not the expressions. So, solving this eq1 will be giving you that a could be given as b by x, and a could be also given as 2b by x. Right, so that could be the questions, right? So solutions. All right, these are the things. Okay. All right, so uh, let's have an equation and let's see the so, uh, results for that, like okay, numerical e equations and let's see the results then. So let's say EXP7, 6 has been done, okay. so this is three x square plus 5 multiplied by the square root of 5 multiplied by x minus 10 mm, this is the thing okay and equals to 0 3x square plus 5 root 5x minus 10 is equal to 0. This is the equation, right? So you need to uh, see how you are going to frame this. So 3 multiplied by x square plus 5, then multiplied by the root of 5, and then multiplied by x multi minus 10, and that will be equal to 0. Okay. So to, in the test, you will be only given a word problem like, okay, not even the situations like this. Okay, at word problems, you have to frame the equations and then you have to write only then you can solve it right so solving part is not very much difficult because only the factors you need to frame the expressions and then you can just apply the uh, functions to get it solved okay now if you if you are going to use factors and all like factor of this exp7 you are not going to get results right simplify again it is not okay cancel not working right so you need to go with again solving the things right so you need to solve it so solve of equation 2 so you get the results that minus 2 the square root of 5 and then square root of 5 by 3 these are the answers that's it uh, hello sir yeah so, where we use solve and where we use uh, simplify? See, simplifications are used not for equations. Simplifications are used for expressions. And you should have the, the difference. You should know the difference. Equations are when it is equals to something. right? Expressions are like, you can say, left-hand side or the right-hand side. Both sides have two other e uh, expressions. Okay. So, two different things are there. For expressions, something are different. Okay and then the equations are something different equations where if i say this is an equation okay this one the equation and the above part is an expression now expression is equals to something creates an equation over there right so for okay. solving an equation you'll be using solve and for solving expressions you can use factor cancel simplification simplify a lot of things okay for that okay okay so also use factor 
factors can be used like if if you see like it can be factorized but uh, solving cannot be used as factorized like if you are using with an equations first go for uh, factorizing the expressions and then with the uh, equations that will work. so if we write it like uh, copy write like solutions of this let me see if it works Okay. So you have minus two root five and then five by root three. Oh, sorry, root five by three. If I write and things over there. So one is your this, and the other is your this. This. I hope that is clear. Right. Now this can be used in physics sections also. We are using dimensional analysis and all. Okay. All right. All right. So let's come to the integral parts, integrations. Now, so here again you have two terms like integral of something. integral of y with respect to dx and integrate with respect to x hmm? yeah now so again you can write up the things like equation of integral of your y with respect to x gives you an integration of y with respect to x that's it, very simple, right? And here you have some upper limits, lower limits, okay? That is, okay? And with respect to whatever you are writing. Like, let's say if there is an integral of, if I'm framing an equation, very simple one, that is, that is an integral. Of an exponentiation of negative x that right and there i'll be giving here right now that is just a moment this will be a complete integral part right so it will be integral of this is integral of this and then the with respect to x okay lower limit as zero and the upper limit as if i say infinite so this is your complete integral part which is finished right and this would be equal to integrate of this thing or integrate of this thing so integral if we can know it as yeah so integral of this okay you see the things like e exp of negative x that is e raised to the power of minus x with respect of x with the lower limit as 0 and the upper one as infinite and that is equals to 1 hmm. right very simple if i say that equation of integral of x to the power of x right and you don't have to write with respect to x every time it automatically detects right so if you want to write you can write in there integral of this x to the power of x is equal to integration of this x to the power of x right so i'm not making any changes over there right okay so things can be done like this okay so if we if we take an expressions e x v eight the last one okay so like two multiplied by x to q minus 
the log of x square plus 1. That is 2x cube minus log of x square plus 1. Uh, this minute negative was not there, but just multiply. So we need to integrate this simple integral of exp8 right and then integrate it with exp8 so integral of this 2x is cube log x square plus 1 dx is equal to this right okay these are the things how it is being made okay that's it now with this uh, there is sometimes you also go with factors of this this term also is being defined there sometimes limits solving limits okay and all with the limits if you go that is different factors okay now here if we define limits are very easy to go with define you have limit and then cos of let's say x minus 1 Okay, so limit of now this is the uh, expression what you need to write, right? So cos of x minus 1 by x, let's say if this is the expression, if, if I say, let's let me remove this, exp9, cos of x minus 1 by x is the expression, okay? This is the expression. If I want to make a limit of this with the x tending to 0, okay, just a minute, <coughs> hmm. all right, so you need to solve it, you need to write limit of the x p 9 and then the things what you are writing okay like x i have written x yeah okay. x tending to 0 would be just a comma of 0 that's it okay we run this you get a limit of x tending to 0 positive okay and that is cos x minus 1 by x now that has got different different functions like dominant you can write of in expressions to get the results as per okay so different things are there for limits, right? The so, sequential limits, binomial limits, and summations for those. Okay. So different things are there. Right? Now in trigonometry, uh, with the very basic things, if I say that like uh, a theta, sine theta has been given, an equation is there, where you know you have been given the question that sine theta is equals to. 3 by 5. Okay, you know that sine theta is equals to 3 by 5. You need to find what is the value of tan theta. Right, so it would be very easy to calculate. How would you find if anyone can suggest? Yeah, so this type of questions you would be getting, right? If it is there in the terms of pen and paper, it would be very easy finding the h, p, b, and then calculating the things or just applying the formula. Of relation of tan with sine yeah anyone can tell what should we do here the easiest way sine theta is equal to 3 by 5 all we know what will be the value of tan one quick yeah uh, sine inverse sine inverse okay so what you will do sine inverse using sine inverse sine inverse what it is going correctly where
if we can say that sine theta where it is sine theta is equals to 3 by 5 right we all know like uh, here we have been given that sine theta is equals to 3 by 5 so can we easily find the things yes right theta has been given to you so you can easily find it if you see a sine inverse what you said exactly so we can say theta would be equals to sine inverse so sine inverse we can write it as a sine right a sine of 3 by 5 so there obviously you would be getting something as a theta value that is 0 0.6435 something like that right so we need to make it shorter all right and we need to find the value of tan theta so this is the value of tan theta 0 0.75 right now to make it in the fractional form we need to make it as in every rational denominator we have to uh, like shorten the things okay so let's make it so we'll be writing the rational limit of the denominator so like it would be rational of this tan theta tan theta and then making it limit denominator so like L I M I T limit the denominator and with 10, 100, whatever you want, right? A float object has no attribute of limit denominator. Just a minute. Uh, cos theta tan type 0 k and limit of n with the denominator of 100. Let's go. Hmm. Okay. Denominator with the hundred. Let's solve it again. The same error. Theta has got some value, but it's not coming. Okay. If I make it till a sign, Sine of 3 by 5 it is, that's fine, but here I think this is tan theta, this is the in brackets problem are there, tan theta has got denominator, okay, and head 51 bracket. So tan theta would be 3 by 4. That point value 0 0.75 would be 3 by 4. Okay, now see how rational works. Like if I say that um, a rational A is equals to rational of uh, 4 by 7. Okay, so what is there right now? Okay. So A is 4 by 7. Now, what is the numerator part and what is the denominator part? If we define the uh, rational, how do we say? What is the rational number? The standard definition, anyone, quick. How do we define? What is the rational number? What do we say? We are like asked what are rational numbers. What do we say? Anything in the form of P by Q, right? Right, so here, P and Q are integers. Hmm, yeah. So P and Q, Q is not. Yeah. So P and Q and will be numerators and denominators. So what do we say? Like in the A, which is the rational number, what is the numerator and what is the denominator? Here also we have the standard forms for those things, like P and Q. Okay. So P and Q is C. This is four and seven. Like what is C here? Okay. So things are quite easy to solve here in the same patterns. Alright. So this is all right going with the simplicity. Let me stop your video.